Ball! Great ball, son! Great ball! He's played in front of crowds of up to 70,000 people at stadiums like Old Trafford. But this is the reality now for Curtis Woodhouse. Hold the ball up. Hold the ball up. Didn't hold it up well enough Saturday. Back in, hold it up, bring people into play. Curtis is just starting out on his managerial career at Bridlington Town in the Northern Counties East League Premier Division. Let's go do the business. Come on, boy. But his ambition is to make it all the way back to the top. His worry, though, is that he and other non-white managers aren't being given the opportunity to progress. I could give you now, off the top of my head, I can think of 15, you know, that are former players that have applied for... I'm talking about academy under-14s jobs. You know, these guys have played seven, 800 league games. You know, internationals can't get a job in academy under-14s, can't get in the game at all. And, you know, try and work their way up and then build into a first-team manager. They can't get opportunities. So he's football racist? I'd say it isn't racist, no, um, but I'd say there is an underlying in racism in the game that people maybe don't even know exists or maybe don't even acknowledge. We played against a team um, and the manager came up to me and says, I've never seen a team work as hard as your lads work tonight. He says, you must do some work with them, they're fit, aren't they? I says, oh yeah, we work, you know, we, we, we put a graft in. He says, blow it out, you must work them like That's what he said to me on the halfway line. Wow. Of the 92 Premier and Football League clubs, there are only eight non-white managers and only 22 of the 482 coaching roles at those clubs are filled by people of a black, Asian or minority ethnic background. In an attempt to tackle the issue, in January the FA introduced their version of the Rooney Rule, which means at least one non-white coach will be interviewed for jobs in the England setup. And yesterday it was reported the FA intends to make it mandatory that each of the 28 national teams, men's, women's and junior sides, have at least one non-white person on the coaching staff. Ultimately, I think it's not right. Like, I always believe it should be the best man for the job, but it gets to the point where people are getting fed up now. You know, enough's enough. You know, it, it, there's been every excuse, oh, well, uh, you know, are black and ethnic minority people uh, qualified? Absolutely. I've been on a course and I've seen a hundred of them, you know, qualified. So that's not the case. Are they applying for jobs? Yes. I know personally of 50 that are applying for jobs that can't get an opportunity. It's not something I really agree with, but what else can we do? Just let carry on going how it's going. You know, statistics are, like I said, it's not alarming, it's embarrassing. As a player, Curtis Woodhouse stood out for his ability on the ball. As a manager, the statistics would suggest he stands out for the colour of his skin. Deliver! Oh, send on, mate. Yes! Well done! Brilliant. Chris Dawkes, ITV News.